Hello everyone. So today I am going to update my ALS based shooter project into Unreal Engine 5. So along with the, all these weapons and battle simulations and everything. So here is the preview after uh, updating into Unreal Engine 5. Everything works without any issue. Actually I did have some problems uh, when I was trying to migrate so I'm gonna show you the steps that I have taken in order to resolve those issues and making it work in Unreal Engine 5 so let's see how to do that today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support Right, so here is my ALS based shooter project. Let's go to switch Unreal Engine version and select 5.0. Okay, and I get this generating project files because I have a custom C class used here. Uh, so that's why I have to generate project files and build that C classes. Right. let's give it some time to generate that okay it's done I think now one rail should start it doesn't show one rail here right let me open again okay i got this message again rebuild now okay right i got this short like me could not be compiled try rebuilding from source manually okay let me open the visual studio project okay mm, let's try building this Right, we got some errors. Actor is not a member of F hit Right. Hmm. Let's see. Let's refer to the documentation. F C plus. Right, this is Unreal Five. Oh, we have in actor so uh, this is uh, unreal for documentation here we have the actor as the first variable mm, and we don't have it here but we have this function get actor utility to return the actor that was the component that was hit so we have that here maybe we should Let's try that. Hit result instead of actor. Let's try it. Oh. Okay. Okay, we have get actor. And that returns a pointer. Oh. Right. We have to use is valid like this for a pointer and replace actor with get actor here. Right, let's try with it now. Mm -hmm. Few more. Oh, oh, we have an additional parenthesis. Okay. 
i a i side target interface can be seen from function declared as final cannot be overridden by a clm character can be seen from hmm. but it says here this function is duplicated can be seen from uh, effect of server location outside location number of checks performs outside location and ignore is that the one i have observer out scene number of yeah that's the one i have so what it says is use the new can be seen from method signature in that should be this one private function virtual function only difference is this p was visible const pool p was visible let me copy that and see if the problem goes away We need these two parameters. Here as well. Right, that error is gone. I just try to build again. Now it says uh, default argument for parameter 6 and 7 is missing. Now let's try giving some default values. Right, build succeeded. Mm. Okay, shall we try it over now? Um, let me switch to the classic layout. Right, no. Okay, now mesh is here. Let's play. I pressed Alt P to start playing, but okay, engine crashed. Let's restart. Right, uh, restarted. Shall we open another map before trying this main map? Oh, this is also the same. What this one? A grid level. Okay, it seems LS, LLS is working. And should we 
is also working. Great, so is everything fine? Let's try this one. Everything is fine. Everything works fine. We have some errors. What's this? One bullet hit. Mm -hmm. Create dynamic material instance return value. Ah, oh. ah, oh, here parent is not selected. What was the material here? I think it should be in the materials blood. I think this one MD cal blood. I don't see blood drops in the on the floor. Access none trying to read property spawn decal at location return value. Oh, here also I have to set the material. Okay, let's try now. blood pool oh this is the blood pool this is not the material I should be using um, um yeah this one M blood decas mat this is the one Get the blood drops. 
Ah, d'accord. And they are the same direction for some reason. Why aren't they having any random direction? testing something compile it oh yeah now the rotations are okay okay I need to test one more thing I need to check if do uh, are these characters able to see me even if my even if only the head is visible yeah that seems to be the case right oh another ah oh, it's a warning um wait can I throw grenades why can't I throw grenades oh Unknown action. Why is this missing? So this is the reason. Mm, let me quickly define those two inputs. Mm. Project settings inputs. Throw grenade. G. And throw rock also should be edge. <coughs> right now, I should be able to throw the grenades. Great. It's okay. Um, now let's test the first map that has the automated battle simulation. Let me simulate. Seems things are working fine. Right. Mm. Okay, I think this should be enough, uh, and we can stop this episode right here. And as always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.